The following car problems, as experts agree, are certainly not worth fixing, no matter how many instructional videos say that they are. Number one, dead hybrid battery. Let's face it, we do feel proud when we buy a hybrid car because it stands a class apart when it comes to performance. But if you're not a keeper, these may not behave as well as you may have expected them to. If a hybrid battery has given up, it is only wise to buy a new car rather than to invest in a replacement battery. If you do wish to replace it, be prepared to shell out anything from $1,000 to $6,000 depending on the model of your car. They cost a lot invest in a new car instead. Number two, electrical glitches. Yes, electrical problems may sound normal at first, but the more modern your car is, the trickier and more expensive it is to fix. In the long run, the problems are most likely to ramify. Ultimately, you will want to get rid of your car, so it may be a great idea to start looking for a prospective buyer as soon as you diagnose the first electrical glitch symptoms. Number three, a blown up head gasket. This is one hard and fast rule. When is it not worth repairing your car? When the head gasket is broke as a joke. When the gasket that separates the head of the engine from the block breaks, you are in for a lot of expenditure. So much so that you'd rather buy a new car. The reason is that when the gasket gets blown, antifreeze and engine oil mingle together, making it the worst amalgam ever. It can cause a cloud of smoke to come out while you drive. When you open the bay, all may seem okay after cooling off, but the problem is going to be a recurrent one. With time, the mileage will drop even below miserable. So listen to some inside industry advice and don't try it and fix it. Number four, a bent frame. If your car has faced heavy impact, a bent frame is a likely result. When you are face to face with a bent frame, you might want to buy a new car. Why? Because a bent frame, more often than not, causes harm to the main frame of the car. With that, it's likely that the inner parts are damaged as well. Some experts may even set this frame right for you, but it will always depend on the extent of the damage. The more the damage, the lesser the chances that the frame can come back to shape. Anything less than perfect can prove to be hazardous for your safety. If the bend is beyond the crumple zone meant to protect the car in case of heavy impact, a bent frame can compromise that very aim. And last but not least, a bad transmission. Transmission is as important as the engine is. So if either goes, your car is likely to give up as well. And changing the transmission is by no means an easy feat, neither is paying for it. The repair of a bad transmission is likely to cost you a fortune as it is and still may not work as efficiently as you want it to. It is, in fact, one of the major car problems that are not worth fixing. It is great if you can actually fix some of these common car problems on your own, but do remember, don't try to fix any of these. That's my video for today. Now take two seconds, click subscribe if you haven't already, and leave some comments below about some upcoming videos you'd like to see. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks for watching. Adios. One more thing before you go, I've added links to some of the best-selling automotive accessories on Amazon right now, along with links to some of my product reviews. You'll find it in the description below this video.